So now that we're on to the tutorial portion of this video, I'm just going to show you what I'm using. All you need for this look is three colours and a dark liner. So you can use black, you can use brown, or you can use brown smudged out and then add a little bit of black into the lash line. It's totally up to you. I'm using this Smashbox Photo Op Eyeshadow Trio and this is in filter. So I've got Vanilla, Sable, and then Sumatra, which is the really dark one. So I'm just gonna show you here. I am a medium skin tone, so if you're using these exact colours or kind of replica versions of these, so if you've got MAC or anything like that and you are a lighter skin tone, this is going to look slightly darker on you. So if you want to go with something like vanilla or something as close to your skin tone as possible, just to give a nice even base, find something a little bit lighter than this and find something a little bit lighter than this. If you are darker than me, then you can swap this out for kind of a that colour. This could be your middle colour and you could use a black or an even darker brown as your kind of smudgy colour. You need three colours for this, that is all. You can do so many things with three colours. These are the ones that I'm using. I will of course leave some uh, matte alternatives down for you below. The first thing that I'm actually going to do is take that vanilla shade and I'm gonna pop this all over the eye. And this is just going to give you a nice base. So I have already primed my eye. I'm actually using um, Lay In Low by MAC today. If you do not want to prime your eye, you do not have to prime your eye, it's okay. Whatever your preference is fine. After we've done that, on that same fluffy brush, this is actually a Morphe M441. <sighs> I'm going to be taking that middle shade and we're going to concentrate that on the outer V and into the crease. So you can see, I don't mind if I'm getting some on the eyelid because that is kind of the idea. So we're just keeping that lower on the eye. Don't forget to kind of flick out the edge ever so slightly. We're also going to take this colour on a smaller brush underneath the eye. But we're going to take it down quite low. Do not be afraid to take it down low. On a smaller brush, I'm going to take that same colour just as I described and we're going to pop that on the lower lash line. Take it down further than you think is okay. I'm just going to place the colour, join it up with the side and then what I'm actually going to do is take that fluffy brush again that we patted that sable colour on with and I'm going to run that along the lower lash line as well. And this is just going to help smoke everything out because who says that you can't have a bit of an eye on if you've got glasses on? I always find that a bit of liner and a bit of definition really helps your eyes pop. You either go really bare and do a really nice lip or you get some kind of liner or definedness around. And I feel like that kind of brings a little bit more definition to the eye so that the glasses don't overtake your entire face. So this is the liner bit. I'm actually gonna be using the Liner Stilo by Bourjois. This is a brown one. You can use the um, Rimmel ones. They are brilliant. I've also, you could use black if you prefer. Um, this is the Rimmel scandalized waterproof cold gel these are brilliant they do those in brown as well you do not need to be spending a shit ton of money to get a really nice eye look what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop a little bit like right in the lash line on the outer corner i'm then going to do the same i'm going to really push this into the lashes but this time i'm going to concentrate most of it like where it's a little bit thicker on the outer corner and I'm just going to kind of really push it into the lash line all the way along. So you want to kind of not get a huge amount of like jaggedy edges. Try and keep it fairly straight. But we are going to smudge this out. So if it goes a little bit tits up, do not worry. Do not fear. Then I'm going to take this smudger brush again. This is the Smoky Eyeshadow Brush. I can't remember what the brand is. But anything small, little bit fluffy, but... A little bit stiffer and we are just going to smoke this out so what I'm gonna do before I get sort of more color on it I'm gonna start from the inner corner because this is where we have the least color I don't want to be dragging any sh any of that 
um, liner into the center of the eye so I'm starting from the inside out and you are just smudging until it looks more natural you are smudging and we're going to bring it up a little bit you want to get like a semi kind of cat eye shape obviously have a look at the other side and see if there's anything that needs correcting but we are going to go in with shadow after this as well so if it's not perfect don't worry this does not have to be one of those eye looks that is really perfect because we have a lot of kind of layers it's very neutral and that kind of grungy look really suits this because you've got enough around the edges like where you've really pushed that into the lash line to give nice definition for it to be a little bit more sultry and smoky I'm then going in with a smaller brush. This is actually a MAC 221. I highly recommend these. If you are doing cut creases, if you have not very much lid space, these are excellent. You can see it's much, much smaller than something like the 224 or the 222. So I'm gonna take that darkest shade and I am just going to place this right in the outer V and I'm going to pop it towards the outer portion of the lower lash line as well. Now if you think you've got a little bit too much on the brush, have no fear because you can take a clean blending brush and blend that out. Do not be afraid to just blend away anything that you think is kind of too heavy. It's better to kind of start with less and build it up because it's trickier to take off things. Now, as you're going along, obviously you can adjust, match it up with the other side. Now that you've kind of blended everything, what I like to do is I like to go back in with this brown shade or a black if that's what you prefer. And I like to push some more of this liner into the lash line because it's so smoked out now that you're not going to get any kind of horrible lines or anything and it just puts back a little bit of that definition that you kind of took away by smudging everything out the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to use my eyelash curlers these are the nyx ones because my kevin aquan ones broke because i stepped on them how soul crushing um and i'm actually going to curl these and then i'm going to put on pop on some mascara i'm using the makeup forever excessive lash i really thought that i was gonna hate it and i freaking love it highly recommend and even though this is not the waterproof version it does not flake on me which is brilliant i'm gonna pop some of this on it's got a really kind of funny wand and i had never used any kind of wand like this before and so i was kind of convinced that i was gonna absolutely hate it and I am really impressed. So really kind of get into all those little corners. If you touch the work that you've done on the lid, wait till it dries and then like schnunk it off with a cotton bud. Do not panic. We all make a mess sometimes. I've already got some on the lid. If you've got long lashes and you've curled them and you're adding mascara, you're bound to get something on the lid. Just be thankful we're not doing a halo eye. And then put some on the bottom as well. I would never suggest wearing fake lashes if you are wearing glasses. Purely because I don't know whether you guys have tried this. I certainly have just to see what I could get away with. Um, the only ones that seem to kind of work are the Fleur de Force, like the three quarter length ones. Anything else just seems to touch the glasses and get mascara all over them and it's just not a good look. I'm now going to take a Q-tip and just clean up anything that I have kind of got on the eye. And I'm also going to um, dust off anything that's kind of fallen underneath the eye and maybe um, top up a little bit of concealer. Remember, if you are a glasses wearer, if you're putting lots of product on your nose, it's going to come off on the bridge of your glasses. So keep this area where possible really bare to stop it kind of clinging to the glasses and then you if you ever take them off or anything you getting that kind of weird naked patch of skin so keep this area really light and maybe use like a mattifying primer or something that's really going to help any makeup that you do put on there really stick i'm going to zoom you out a little bit right so you could absolutely leave this not wear glasses you will look stunning i'm going to add a lip 
because why the fuck not? I'm actually going to use just a lip pencil. So I've got the colour Whirl from MAC. And as you can see, I've kind of just filled in. That is kind of all I would do. I'm going to take some blush and I'm actually going to just use some of this Rimmel um, Pink Rose. So this is number 20. I can actually, actually want to go too heavy on the blush. I'm just going to take a, what is this, like a duo fibre brush and put some on the cheeks. This colour is so beautiful on most skin tones and even if you've got quite a dark skin tone, this gives a nice sheen to the skin as well. So you could almost use it as like a pinky toned highlight. Really, really pretty. Right, and now for the big reveal. So I'm going to shove my very dirty glasses on. And here we go. You are not losing your face. <laughs> to your glasses i have these ones these are my really big ones these are actually men's ones i went to spec savers i don't know whether that is like a worldwide thing or um whether you guys who are anywhere else kind of have spec savers these are the men's ones these are actually by converse you can see that they are quite wide and really square and i will show you my other pair as well which are also men's ones And these are slightly more kind of elongated. I would say these are my more like professional ones. Again, they're quite sort of rectangular and like high. These are filthy, do excuse. Um, and these are kind of a tortoiseshell color. Again, these are men's ones. I just found like the women's ones didn't quite do it for me. Um, and I really, really like them. So I hope that that has given you a little bit of inspiration where um, glasses are concerned. If you wear glasses, embrace it. I think that they can be a fantastic uh, fashion accessory. I'm very lucky that I don't need to wear them all the time and it's just for certain things. So my eyesight's pretty damn good, to be honest. It's just for um, screens and things and like a little bit of distance. I don't have a particularly strong prescription. But if you do and you wear glasses and you don't wear contact lenses or you can't, still don't ever feel like you can't wear makeup don't feel like just because you have to wear glasses that, that that's all people are going to see you can absolutely create some beautiful looks that just kind of make your glasses an accessory and you still see your face and you still see your beautiful eyes so i hope that you've really enjoyed this video um please do give it a thumbs up obviously if you don't wear glasses i think this looks freaking stunning without them on anyway and actually i'm thinking that this might be my birthday makeup anyway give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it um please do subscribe and click that bloody bell button because you have to do that now because otherwise you won't see my videos i have had a wonderful time filming this video for you today and i hope that you've really enjoyed it too and are having a lovely day wherever you are i will see you in the next one and yeah lots of love bye